Well, thanks so much for the awesome performance, Ursula. That was great. Oh, you're welcome. Great to have you on session. Thanks for having me here. Uh, first off, could you uh, tell us a little bit about uh, kind of uh, history of your uh, uh, playing guitar, songwriting? I feel like it's always been in my blood, but I just never really realized it until, I don't know, until I moved away from home, I guess. Because my mom, you know, she's... She really kicks a lot of butt in the music industry. She's a fantastic singer, songwriter. She plays in a band. They're called Phoenix. Um, they play a lot around Springfield, Westfield. But, you know, since I've been a baby, uh, I can, well, not remember my baby years, but since I was a child, it's always been, you know, I was very creative. Tiny child, always making up my own songs and this and that, and I never really kind of found my niche until I started picking up the guitar, which was, I don't know, like six, seven years ago, maybe. Okay. Um, so who are some of your biggest influences? Oh, man. Um, I think the person who most inspired me to want to write my own songs um, was and play, mostly play out in front of people, was Amy Winehouse. Because I know she wasn't very good live, and she had her issues, man, but that record, Frank, it just moved me in a way that no other album has ever done. You know, she did some covers, some jazz tunes, but she was so, like, angry and R&B and just, but still so delicate at times, and I liked her versatility in that regard. Now, you're also part of uh, Mad Habits. Uh, can you tell, tell us about uh, that group and how kind of uh, your uh, solo work kind of differs from that? Oh, yeah. So Mad Habits is a um, <clears throat> three-piece, what do we call ourselves, weirdo folk band. So we have a, a fiddle player slash violinist who's classically trained. She's out of control. Um, her name is Caroline. And then the guitar player, who's also just gnarly, her name is Britt. And she's got wizard pinky. She does things with a pinky I've never seen anybody do <laughs> in my whole life. Um, and she's fantastic. And we, we play songs that we each write for that band. So, um, you know, there's a, a couple songs I have in mind that I want to bring to that band, but there's a few songs I've already written for that band. Um, but, you know, Caroline writes, Brittany writes, and, you know, we just come together. And I don't play guitar in that band either. I just sing. And we've got harmonies, and we used to be a five-piece band, but we've sort of downsized. So. Well, one thing I noticed is there, there's a, like a little bit of like country R&B kind of mix going on. Yeah, I'm wicked honky. Yeah. yeah, I've been writing very, very honky material, which um, I don't know. I love you know Patsy Klein and even Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn. But I also love um, Roger Miller is one of my favorites. He's, he's got a fantastic songwriting capability because he's a goofball. He's just a little wild guy, but he's also has written some of the most heartfelt songs I've ever heard in my life. Now, I know you're kind of fond of jokes uh, when you're performing live. Uh, do you have any jokes for us today? Me? I don't know any jokes. Oh, just kidding. I know a hundred. Where does a skunk go to pray? The pew. <laughs> 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 um, I, I guess last question is, uh, do, you have, do you have any um, uh, upcoming performances that um, people know about? As of right now, no. I think Mad Habits has a tentative gig on January the 13th, but I'm not sure about it yet, so I don't want to speak too soon. But um, <clears throat> as far as solo stuff, no, I'm wide open. Come book me. I'll play for you. I'll play with you. Um, I'm also working on a band with my friend Frank and um, <clears throat> the bassist from uh, Fat Bradley. Um, I think we're gonna put something together that might be special, so. Awesome, well thanks so much, yeah. Ursula. Thank you for having me, Chris.